Hello, my name is a rotten kumquat and welcome back to Heretic. I am continuing my playthrough of episode 4, the Ossuary, on uh, Thou Art a Smartmeister. Smite Meister. I might not have said that as clearly as I meant. Anyway, um picking up. Come on, OBS, there we go. This is E4 M7, Ramparts of Perdition. Picking up right where I stopped recording on the last level, so I'm going to save the game first. Got 148 enemies, 5 secrets, and a uh, were dragon right behind us. So, switch to rockets. I'm going to take him out. Wow, he died in one shot. That's a, a surprise. Okay, this definitely looks familiar. Yep. Got like uh, 87,000 birdies here. But this map is definitely familiar. Doesn't mean I know what I'm doing, but I recognize it. Kind of like a fortress thing. The gallows right here with the... I don't know, I can't look yet, but there's like a dead body hanging from it. This is all very familiar. Okay, I'm gonna rocket these wear dragons. See if I can uh, get some splash damage to take most of them out. Okay, relatively safe now. Still got some disciples up here, but they're kind of no big deal. So here's the gallows, or hanging. Yeah, gallows. Gallows is where you hang people, right? The other thing I was thinking was guillotine. Pretty interesting little visual design in a game like this. Kind of gruesome, but, you know, it fits in. Um, let's see, there's a lot of platforming in this level. I wonder if I can hit the ceiling here. Yeah, Auto-aim is causing me problems. I wanted to shoot the ceiling up there and hope the splash damage would kill those uh, gargoyles, but auto-aim's not letting me. I could probably go into settings and turn auto aim off, but I don't care. Auto aim was a big part of the original game, and it feels like I'm uh, changing things up too much if I turn that off. I mean, I'm already using free look here with the mouse and with perspective correction and all that. Like, some people would call that cheating. And I understand that point of view, but I tend to think not so much. I mean, you could look up and down in Heretic. You were limited, but. You could look up and down. It was the first Doom Engine game to support that. Oh, here's a switch. But it was kind of sickening because it didn't have perspective correction. It did this uh, weird Y shearing thing. So, I mean, GZ Doom, you can look up and down, you have proper perspective correction. It's really, it's a huge quality of life improvement. So I'll play with it. I won't do this in Doom because you could not look up and down on Doom. Oh, didn't expect that to drop. So yeah, on Doom, it feels like cheating, but on Heretic, it feels like a natural extension of how the game was meant to be played. Okay, uh, see if I can uh, drop in the lava and die or not. I was trying to run across that platform and that uh, did not work. Oh, here's a switch. Yeah, there's some more disciples. What did that switch do? Okay, that raised a platform where I was trying to jump. So, I did that the hard way. Okay, he's running away. Oh, that's a disciple. Gotta prioritize him. Let's show how used to this game I'm getting, because in the first episode, like Disciples of Despair, were they were hard enemies. Now you get to the ossuary and they're like, uh, no big deal. Just shoot them with a crossbow a few times and move on. OK, 
Okay. Let's look around. I'm pretty sure this opens up at some point. Doesn't look like there's anything else I can do in here at the moment. Now this little detail. I mentioned the last video about like John Romero's rules for Doom design. This is one of the things he mentions is about using border textures anytime you have like a change in wall features. So where this little platform shows up, there's a metal border texture here. And on uh, Doom, a lot of times you'll see like the silver support texture or something. Just little things like that you might not think about, but they add a huge amount of just uh, just polish to your Doom engine games. Oh, hello. I am almost out of fire mace ammo. And I'm out of fire mace ammo. I'm still kind of surprised that the fire mace is actually a version of the beta BFG from Doom. That is something I did not know until recently when I... I saw it on Decino's recent video. Um, if you don't know who Decino is and you like Doom, go watch him on YouTube. He's very entertaining, very good player, plays all kinds of stuff, and does some interesting analysis videos. And he did one on the BFG where he talked about uh, the beta BFG that was in like a... It was in a press release version of Doom. Didn't make it into the final game, but the BFG worked totally different back then. And it was basically the fire mace. You shot it and it fired a whole bunch of green, green and red plasma balls that even bounced off the floors and ceiling. And, I, you know, I don't know what the timeline was, but I wonder if Heretic development started before Doom 1 was finished? Or maybe they just saw that and said, hey, we'd like that better than the BFG. I don't know. That said, that's one of the things that makes the Fire Mace kind of difficult to use. Um, there, it's not a direct analog to anything you're used to from Doom. Okay, that opens up at some point. And, I mean, it works, and it has its own unique ammo type, but, like, Fire Mace is not that great. The BFG was way better. Like, the change they made away from the beta BFG, it was a good change. For sure. The beta BFG had, and again, Decino covered this. It had a couple places where it shined, but most other use cases, the BFG, as we all know and love, was way, way better. Okay, I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to be. There's a yellow key door. These banners are not secrets. A lot of times those would be secrets in earlier episodes. Here, they're just decorations. Mm, guess I'll go back this way. See if there's anything new. I got this platforming thing. That's just a hell staff out there. I don't care. Um, areas over there. This is probably a monster blocking line def. Just uh, guessing that based on the fact that these gargoyles have never flown past it. Kind of a strange design decision. And this was the beginning? Yeah. Not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. There must be more along this way. Now you'll notice I also changed my episode format a little bit early on. Well, early on. First episode of Heretic was all one single video. And it was a little long, but they're short, easy levels. And so I just played through it all in one sitting. And then as the game progressed, it gets more difficult. Levels take longer. And uh, so I was doing more and more videos per episode of the game. Just because you get burned out easily. I mean, you sit and try to play like Disciples, uh, not Disciples, the Dome of Despair all in one sitting. That's a good way to burn yourself out and just start to hate the game. And by the time you get to the ossuary, oh, hello. By the time you get to the ossuary, like it's taken me 30 to 45 minutes per level now because the difficulty's way up and complexity's way up. That just takes me to the gallows, okay. So that's why my format changed. And for this episode, I'm, I'm decipher. 
for this episode, I'm just sticking with it, you know? There's probably times when I could have done two levels per, per video, but once I, you know, stick to a format, I don't necessarily want to change it. Um, what's next? I'm also fairly new at this whole streaming and YouTube thing, so I don't necessarily know it works. I'm just trying to jump to that window. I'm not even streaming this, I'm just recording it, so... I probably should have streamed it, but... I found it was uh, less pressure when I was recording and not streaming. But the only reason I changed that is I had an internet outage, and I felt like playing Heretic, but I couldn't stream, so I just went ahead and recorded it anyway, uploaded it to YouTube and Rumble. And I just haven't streamed since. And we got these little metal cages here, monster closets with... Oh, there's a quartz flask. Otherwise, that was almost not very important. Okay, I am very disoriented right now. I want to go up there. This opened up. Okay, we got a teleporter. Just takes us over to this little uh, rampart where these rare dragons were. Saber claws. The pinkies of heretic. They're basically pinky demons, really. Melee enemies, very fast. I'm sure their stats are a little different, but if you're into Doom, those guys are pinkies. Or you might call them pigs. I don't know where the term pigs came from. That's what me and my sister always called them growing up. And I never heard anyone else call them pigs until uh, recently. Of all people, Dario Casali. He, uh... So he and his brother Milo created the Plutonia experiment for Final Doom. He recently created a Doom channel on YouTube. And I highly recommend watching it. It's fun to watch because, you know, he was one of the... Is this where I came from? Yes. He was one of the creators of the Plutonia experiment. He did a playthrough of Plutonia on Ultraviolence. And it was just really interesting, you know, hearing his commentary because it's been almost 30 years since that game came out. So, you know, listen to his commentary, watch it as playthrough. That's a lot of disciples, so I'm just going to oh, try to keep moving. Listening to his commentary and watching him fall prey to his own traps and stuff, really entertaining. But uh, he was calling Pinky Demons pigs. And that just kind of surprised me, because I thought that was a unique term that, you know, me and my sister, uh, Lady Nims, had come up with as kids. So... I guess our minds work like a uh, Dario's. I think his name's Dario. I might be mispronouncing that. Okay, that was painful, so let's use a quartz flask. Um, I want to pick up that greater rune. Restock my health staff here. Let's pick up that health file. So, what did this give me? I have a yellow key now. Did I need that? I'm not particularly paying that much attention. This bridge raised. That's new. Okay, yeah, yellow key is new. It's late. It's uh, Sunday evening. I'm... Uh... Okay. I was saying that, you know, I'm not 100% like alert or anything right now. I might seem a little scatterbrained and it's because it's late. But this confused me. Yellow key door, open it, and blue key door. I just... Okay, that makes a little more sense now. I was going to say, why would you have two key doors back to back? Oh, face rocket. Um, that calls for Mystic Urn.
Nope, we're not gonna Phoenix rod him at point blank range. That would be a bad idea. Uh, kind of think coming up here might be a mistake. A little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't die. Don't die. Oh, wow. Wow. I came out of there with 13. Okay. We have quartz flasks. We're good. 83. You know, it's been a while since I've died. That first level of the ossuary... Oh, need another quartz flask. That first episode, or first level of the ossuary was quite an ordeal. But... So it got easier as we went along. It just... That first episode was just kind of different. First level, not episode. I keep saying episode and level interchangeably. Like I said, I'm tired. It's late. I'm gonna go up this elevator. I think there was a health vial up here. Yep. Fire mace, too. Okay, I got a couple teleporters here. Well, one teleporter. This is just a spot. Anyway, I was saying it's been a while since I've died. The first level was really tough. I haven't had too much trouble since then. So it was just a really difficult start. But I've not been saving mid-level, so when I die, I restart the level as it was when I started it. You know, I'm not switching to a pistol start. I'm going back to my save game, so... I keep all my weapons and items, but still level restart. Been quite a while since I've done that, though. Ooh, armor. How do I get to that? Did the switch do something? No? Not here. Oh, it lowers this side. How about this? Yay, 200 armor. Armor is really a huge thing in the Doom Engine games, and you don't think too much of it until you don't have it. Okay, I need the green key next. Here is some kind of throne. Because he's sitting here and uh, looking out at this little castle-like thing. Episode 4 is definitely more abstract than the first three episodes of Heretic. Like, a lot of the first three episodes, it's like they were trying to be real plausible places you know to a limit obviously it's a fantasy game you can only go so far a lot of episode four like you're not really sure what stuff's supposed to be but uh this is clearly a throne room of some kind according to heretic wiki um the ossuary takes place in some kind of realm that Disparal had, like, uh, enslaved or captured, conquered, and then abandoned. I guess he conquers places and then just moves on, so... Maybe this is where Disparal ruled this realm from. Hmm, I see that down there. I have not been there. Let's... We're gonna go ahead and risk it. Shadow Sphere... I put a teleporter right here, so that's not too bad. And then I killed this disciple. I think there's just the one. Not really sure where I'm supposed to go next. The progression on this level is not super obvious. Check this room over again since I'm here, but I don't think there's anything for me to do here. Still not sure how to get over there to grab that crossbow, which actually I could use because I only have 29 arrows. Um, full on claw, full on hell staff. Yeah, I don't think this is where I'm supposed to be. There must be more over here. What are we, uh, 20 minutes into this video already? So, I 
think of like uh, episode one, City of the Damned, and I'd have been like halfway through the episode by now. Blue key door. I do not have the blue key. Where did this teleporter go? This was the throne room with green key doors, but I don't have a green key yet either. Oh, Fred. I did not mean to do that. I really didn't. Um, how do I get out of here? Panic. Use a quartz flask. Fortunately, that was weak lava. <laughs> yeah, I did not mean to do that at all. I just... I stepped through that window and... Where was that? I don't even know where I stepped out now. Is it over here? No? I expected that window to be a blocking line def, and it was not. A lot of times in uh, Doom Engine games... Um... Windows like the Oh, green key's lowered. Okay, this is where I need to be. And that let out a couple disciples, but they don't see me. So you see windows like this? A lot of times in Doom Engine games, they make these impassable line defs, so you can't step through them. And this didn't do that, and it just kind of caught me by surprise. And now the disciples are hidden again. That's funny. We'll go ahead and kill them, because... Ah, it's not a very effective monster clock. That just isn't. Um, weren't there two? There he is. Oh, and we got birdies. Um, get out of my way. Let me switch weapons. Monster closet that closes after a delay. That's just a strange choice to me. But whatever. Okay, we have green key now. Should I get to go back this way, run to the teleporter. Gotta get back to the throne room. There we go. There's a green key door on either side, it looks like. Gonna bring up plasma gun. Well, no, not for those guys. How's our enemy count? 101 out of 148. Still three secrets left. Okay, I think this room's clear. Got like a cool phoenix symbol on the floor down there. You can see it on the map. Yep, there it is with a phoenix rod in the middle. Imagine that. Um, so let's hit the switch and see what nasty stuff happens. Um, okay, that wasn't nasty. Did this do something nasty? Well, that is toxic floor. That is a little bit nasty. How's my ammo on that? Yep, I can pick up these flame orbs. So this switch is how I get up to this platform. This uh, this looks suspicious. These banners might be monster closets. Yep, with birdies in. So easy mode monster closet. It's supposed to be map seven. Like, shouldn't map seven be hard? Of course, I say that in the next room, we'll probably have 25 Molotovs in it. Okay, we have all three keys. So, let's go use the blue key. Blue key was inside the yellow key door. Right here. What do we got? More birdies.
And a pile of saber claws. Oh, and those guys, I think, call for rockets as long... Oh, that's what I was worried about. As long as, uh... Oh, Mystic Urn. Do. As long as auto-aim doesn't kill me, which it tried to do. Um, yeah. I'll just claw them. Chain gun them. Same thing. These guys look pretty weird from directly above. Just the way GZ Doom does sprite rendering. In the original DOS executable of Heretic, you could not look up and down enough for that to really happen. I think in the DOS game, you could look up about this far and down about this far. Something like that. So, something like 30 degrees. GZ Doom gives you a full 90 degrees. So, sprites can look pretty distorted at times. I know opinions are mixed on the whole look up, look down thing, but I don't care. So, we got Wings of Wrath, right? Yes. So, I could fly up there if I wanted, but I don't know if that's the intended progression just yet. Also got... Iron Lich is out here. Yep. One on each side. Oh, I have four tomes of power. I need to use those more. So, let's go ahead. We're gonna run out here. Activate Tome of Power. Blast these guys with the Hell Staff. No big deal. Oh, there's three of them. Okay, those are all dead. This switch does what? Elevator. And this switch does what? A different elevator. Okay. It appears that... Never mind. This one stays lower. That is not a lift. So if I'm good, I can strafe around over here without taking too much damage. Pick up the goodies. Oh, I want that flame orb. Hit this. Oh, another flame orb. Oh, I just got toasted. Those fireballs really hurt when they hit you. Okay. Oh, perfect. More of them. So let's just hit the switch and see what else happens. Tons and tons of Bert. You know, we could still got three more Tomes of Power, so... Let's put them to use. We can only carry one to the next level. There's no reason not to. Oh, we're gonna get a dodge a whole pile of tornadoes. I'm just gonna circle strafe like this and hope I can outrun them. Only switching to the crystal wand because I never use it. Just kind of seemed like a good idea at the moment. Oh, that's the exit. Okay, let's uh, dodge these tornadoes. There's one enemy and three secrets left. Okay, tornadoes have expired. Um, what do we got? Take a quick look at the map. You know what? Some of you guys might hate me for this, but I don't care. I'm not trying to 100% this, like... I'm just trying to play the game and have fun. If I 100% it, cool. If I don't, well, that's also cool. Uh, that's also cool, so... One enemy, three secrets left, and I'm gonna hit the switch. Um, actually... Use up some quartz flasks first, because I can't carry all those. Make sure my health is full. Now I'm going to hit the switch. 
that was E4M7, Ramparts of Perdition. So check in for my next video to see the final level of this uh, episode. I think it's called Shattered Bridge. So until then, my name is a Rotten Kumquat, and thanks for watching.